Fantasia for 2016 has just been released and I think you're going to like it. Let's take a peek, shall we? So here we are inside of the new Camtasia editor. To the left of the canvas is a collapsible window that contains your media, the library, and all of the features available to you when you use Camtasia Studio. On the right hand side of the canvas there's another collapsible window. This is your properties panel. And the lower portion of the screen is dedicated to the timeline. The canvas area is detachable. This allows you to drag it to another monitor and edit in full screen mode. Reattaching the canvas is just a matter of a couple of mouse clicks. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm not going to go into any great detail on things, but I'm going to try to cover everything for you that you need to know about this program. Let's get started. Okay, the library comes with a number of animated backgrounds that you can use. There's title effects, icons, and more. Under the annotations tab, you'll find a lot of callouts, arrows, shapes, blur and highlight filters, some animated callouts, and your keystroke callouts. Under the transitions tab you have 30 video transitions. Under the behaviors tab we have a bunch of new behaviors or animations that you can apply to text, video, images, whatever you want. Okay, do you see how the letters are dropping in here? This is one animation. Okay, this is just a pulsating type thing. Reveals, okay, and basically you drag and drop these on text or an image, anything you want, and the animation is done for you. So it's pretty handy. It, it's great for those of you especially that are newer to video editing. I'm just going to drag this effect to the text that's on the screen, and we're going to hit play. Okay, see it pops up and does a nice little thing. There's a little animation in the meantime. So this is just some of the automatic behavior. Now you can come up here, there's an in, a during, and an out part of the animations. You can change all these animations in many ways. You can change how fast they occur, the type of uh, in and out effects. There's just, there's many things that's, that's too deep to go into, but you can also apply these things to images, like I said, or video. I'm just gonna apply one very quickly to the background image and we'll play that. See, so that's pretty nice. I really like behaviors. Okay, under the animations tab, you've got animations that you can apply to video and images, okay? Under the zoom and pan tab, Camtasia has the best zoom and pan uh, capabilities for editing in my opinion. It's just very easy to use. Under cursor effects, you've got a lot of new cursor effects for right click. Okay, left click is kind of standard. A number of these left clicks are new to those of you that use Windows, but those of you that have been using Camtasia for Mac have had these features for some time. You have your basic cursor effects. Okay, we've got under the voice narration tab, now you can actually type text into this window or you can copy and paste text into this window. So when you're doing voice narrations, you can actually read from here and uh, that, it just helps you uh, to do narration. Under the audio effects tab we have fades in, fade in and out, you know, volume leveling, noise removal, visual effects. Now we have color adjustment. Okay, Camtasia didn't have the ability to adjust color, saturation, brightness, and contrast. Now it does. Okay, and there's, you know, drop, shadow, border, some basic stuff. Under interactivity, that's how you add quizzes. If you're a teacher or perhaps you're creating interactive videos for your employees. Captions tab, that's kind of self-explanatory. You create captions. And that pretty much covers what the editor does. Camtasia now supports cross-platform editing. What that means is you can work on a Windows machine, take your project over to a Mac computer, and continue editing over there. As far as the recorder goes, the recorder is pretty much the same thing. It supports webcam video recording. Okay, under the audio you can record both your microphone and system audio if you want. 
You can record to .trek files or you can record directly to AVI. At this time the Camtasia editor only supports 30 frame per second video editing so for you hardcore gamers it's not the ideal choice for recording your games. One other thing to be aware of is that if you record games with this you have to record them in windowed mode. You can't play the game in full screen. It has to be windowed. But honestly, you can record pretty good gameplay at 30 frames per second. Uh, it's an excellent recorder for that situation, but uh, that's something I just want you to be aware of. Uh, if, you know, just go to Camtasia, download the free program for 30 days, and give it a whirl. See what you think. That pretty much concludes my overview of the program. The remaining minute of this video is just some examples of what comes with the Camtasia library. Once again, thanks for tuning in and take care.